Okay, so g'day. And today we are looking at comparisons on Wikipedia of British English uh, versus Australian English. Whether I understand any of the pommy lingo. So I know that the UK has various accents. So UK and various Asians in the original. Okay, maybe Wikipedia has a map. We could use this map. So variations in the original accent. So up here, yeah, blah 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 blah. Now I'll look at this one. And as we can see, okay. So this is Norway. We've got something about Normans. Dialects today. So we've got obviously we've got a few different Scottish, Irish, well the Republic of Ireland mainly has a Hibero English. Just remember they speak Gaelic as well. Then we've got Ulster, uh, Ulster Scots. So that's a different language actually. Uh, probably South Ulster. And then we got <clears throat> no got Welsh. So it doesn't differentiate between Welsh and Welsh English. Uh, Cardiff, Anglo Cornish. So you got different accents all around the UK. Most of them are in England. But I'd say this could probably be divided up a lot more potteries. So is that like toilet potty? Anyway. So most of this is probably just standard English, but some of it's probably just regional. So we've got allotment, uh, a community garden not connected to a dwelling. Yeah, we don't I, don't, I don't know what we call allotment. We probably just say community garden. That's about it. Arctic, articulated lorry. Oh, we don't use the word lorry in Australia. We just use truck or semi-trailer. Nah, we just call these trucks. That's it. <clears throat> so, even if that's not correct. Aubergine, I think that's French. We just use eggplant. It's disgusting anyway. Bank holiday, yeah, public holiday. Barmy, crazy mad, we're insane. Here we use barmy for hot and humid weather. So, Queensland in the monsoons, always barmy. Okay, bed, sit, studio apartment. What, you sit on the bed because that's all it fits in there? Okay, Balisha's bacon. Mm. Okay, a flashlight atop a pole used to mark pedestrian crossing. Okay, I don't. Ah, oh, okay. I've never seen any of those in Australia. Usually they just have the two lights flashing on and off. So, and they're both amber. Okay, bin lorry, garbage truck, rubbish truck we usually, yeah. We never use bin lorry. Okay, Bobby, police officer. No, we just use a cops, police, whatever they use in the United States. Okay, Kagul, Kaguli. White wet raincoat or wind sheeter. Never heard of wind sheeter. No. Raincoat? Yeah. We do use raincoat. Uh, candy floss? Yeah. No. We use fairy floss. It's okay. It's correct. Cash machine? ATM? Or to make tell machine we use. Chav? Never heard of Chav. Social economic person comparable to a bogan. Okay. So bogan is uh, someone, racist person without a job. Mm. Okay, baby minder, we use babysitter. Chibi, to hurry along. Uh, Australian English nag. Ah, oh, stop nagging me, will you? Go away, you, you're such a nag. It means someone that's just annoying. It doesn't mean to hurry along. Mm, nag doesn't mean that. Okay, churn, crimbo. Abbreviation Christmas, 
Yeah, we use Chrissy. Merry Christmas to you. Where's all the Chrissy presents? Okay, tough to be proud, especially oneself. Oh, yeah, we don't use tough to say, oh, you're proud. Okay, Clegg, horsefly. Mm, we just use horsefly. Okay, most of these doesn't look like we use. Okay, cling film, probably glad wrap. Yeah, glad wrap, cling wrap, that's what we use. And yeah, that's what that is. Community payback, community service. Yeah, that's more of a law thing in which you do unpaid work. If you've committed a crime, that's not too serious. Comprehensive school, state school, public school. We just call them public schools. Public and private schools we have here. Although Finland, I think, has the best because they only have public. Okay, cooker, kitchen appliance, stove and oven. Yeah, we don't use cooker. We use a stove. Cook something on the stove. A hot top as well, we also call it. And the oven's inside. A cooker is what we call a conspiracy theorist, really. A caprice. A cleared woodland. We just call it a clearing. So, a clearing. So, it's a cleared, cleared woodland. Woodland. Or even just any place that was had some nature that's been removed. Okay, council housing, public housing. Yeah, they need to increase that. Counterpane. A bed covering. Bed sheet. Yeah, never heard of counterpane. Bed sheet, yeah. Called get. Oh, zucchini. Courgette. Baby marrow. Yeah, we just call it. We have zucchini and cucumbers. It's basically all those type of foods. It's all we call those. Okay, crèche, childcare centre. Uh, so this one, we do use both. So creche and a childcare centre. So creche might be an import uh, from the UK or somewhere. Okay, crisps or potato chips. Yeah. We don't call it crisp. We don't usually call them potato chips. We just call them chips. Okay, current account, transaction account, that's more banking. Okay, Dell, a small secluded hollow or valley. We don't use hollows for valleys at all. We just use valleys. Okay. Ooh, what's that? No, landform. Okay, a holly is alligated, low, often running between hills. Oh, yeah, it's a V-shaped. Yeah, we we do have V-shaped valleys. I think there's more glacier derived, but we just call them valleys. Okay, do Australian English party or social gathering? Yeah, just we just call it a party. Okay, then we have. Doodle, an easy task. Doodle, yeah, now I've never heard of doodle. Okay, dos, to spend time idly, I'll probably call it bludging. Bludging, oh, what else they call Spend time idly, anyway. Drawing pin, bum tack, yeah, that's a thing that you put into a board so you can hang uh, flyers or something up. Dungaree overalls. Okay, overall, dungaree, yeah we call those overalls. Not that popular these days. Okay, dustbin, garbage bin, rubbish bin, yeah. We don't, and also we don't use a tin can but I think that's American. Dust cart, garbage truck, rubbish truck, usually called just call it a garbage truck. Okay, duvet. So this one, duvet, duna. Well, we do use duna mainly. Duvet, yeah, people would have heard about it and know what it is. Lectoplast or plaster. 
Band aid. Yeah, that's a band aid. We use band aid, not other elastoplast. That's it. Electrical lead. Uh, electrical cord. So this one, uh, we we do use both electrical lead and electrical cord to connect. So that is a type of electrical lead connects to devices. Okay, is a state car station wagon yet? Yeah, yeah, it's a station wagon, but they're not really that popular these days. I think they stopped producing them. Or what we call those is a shagging wagon. So obviously you can put a bed in the back. Okay, fairy cakes. Yeah, that's a cupcake. Father Christmas, Santa Claus. So this one, uh, we would use both. Santa is what we use more commonly, but Father Christmas is we also use. Okay. Then, uh, swamp. We just class all types of swamps a swamp. Okay, free phone, toll free. So toll free is when you call up and you don't have to pay money. Free phone just means, oh, I'm going to give you a free phone. Give me the free phone or else I'll stab you. Gammon, a meat from the hind of pork. Never heard of it. No, we just call it ham, I think. Uh, no distinction between gammon and ham. Okay, get a foolish person. Yeah, I've heard of that. Equivalent to idiot moron. Yeah, I'd say, yeah, idiot, probably more of a moron. Goose pimples, goosebumps. Yeah, we just use goosebumps. Hacked off to be ir irritated, upset, often with a person. Yeah, we just use irritated. Hacked off, you know, hack off your arm. Hair grip, hairpin or bobby pin. See, so, you know, I don't really use those, so it's a female thing. Half term, uh, school holidays. Yeah, kids run that. See, they're all happy because they're leaving school. Okay, Halia Paula. Okay, okay, Paula. So, that'll be a tr uh, No, thank it. Some type of vehicle. Okay, probably call it a small truck or something. Okay, heath, an area of grass or shrublands, similar to train shrublands, uh, but we do use heath. So, Mallee Heath in all Western Victoria, shrublands, probably a more forest theory than heath. Hoover, vacuum. Yeah, we just say vacuum cleaner. Horse box, horse float. Yeah, carry horses. Ice lolly, ice block, or icy pole. Yeah, we use those two or something like that. And yeah. So juicy bits is small bits of fruit reside found in fruit juice. Okay, pole. Yeah. You see, it's uh, that's really, really weird. So I'm gonna beat you to a pulp means you're gonna turn you into something like this. Okay, kip to sleep. Never heard of kip. Kitchen roll, paper towel. Uh, landslip, landslide. Yeah, in geology they use landslide. Australian English, lavatory, toilet. Yeah, sometimes we use lavatory. We more likely use toilet. Sometimes we use dunny. Some places they use bathroom, but bathrooms more has a shower and a, a bath. Lido, public swimming pool. No, we just call it the pools. Lorry, yeah, we just call it truck. Loud hailer, megaphone. Yeah, we use megaphone. If you say, can you say something on a loud hailer? People go, what? What are you talking about? What's a little hailer? Maybe it's Macintosh or Mac. Okay, raincoat. Yeah, we just use raincoat. Make a towel. Snow pee. Mm. Yeah, we use snow pee. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so I, I really, most of this is pretty correct. Domestic hair, sure. Cat moggy. Satellite. 
mini dish, yeah, satellite dish, more low area prone to flooding, yeah, swamplands, or if it's a low area prone, prone to flooding, we'll call it a floodplain, or yeah, floodplain more likely than a swampland. Swampland is usually an area that's always flooded, but it's shallow. Nettled, irritated, and a nosh, a meal or spread of food. Okay, off license, bottle shop, bottle low. Yeah, that's, yeah, we do use those. Bok choy, oh, bok choy. That comes from Cantonese, bok choy. Uh, so this is probably more like the 1800s transliteration of bok choy. This is more like modern version. Okay, pavement, footpath. Uh, no, we use both, footpath and pavement. Uh, what we don't really use is sidewalk. I think that's American English. Uh, but yeah. Okay, pelican crossing, uh, zebra crossing, or pedestrian crossing is what we use. So, yeah, that's correct. Peak, peaky, unwell, or sickly. Yeah, we just put, we just use unwell. I think sickly is more like an 1800s way to talk about someone who's not well. And these two are probably more modern versions. Okay. Red or green pepper, you which is your yeah, that's just a capsicum to me. And there's also yellow and some other colours as well. People carrier, people mover. It's just a car, minivan. So we wouldn't call it really a people mover, just a mini we call that minivan. Actually we wouldn't even call that a minivan. That's minivan's more of a larger type of vehicle. Uh, that's probably just a we just call that the car. Pinky, an itinerant person, similar to an English tramp. Okay, we don't really use tramp anymore. Um, probably, I think hobo from the United States has become more popular. Or just um, homeless person, really. Pillar box, post box. Yeah, we just use post box. Pillar, a mildly offensive term for a foolish and obnoxious person, similar to idiot or moron. Also refers to male genitalia, pillow. So if it's mildly offensive term, you call someone an idiot or more, and it's not mildly offensive, it's pretty offensive. Yeah. Mildly offensive. Oh, what would we say? We go, ah, oh, your ideal. Something like that. Okay. Peel sole footwear. Sand shoes. You would just call those. I don't know what you call those. Slippers, probably. Yeah. Whatever. Okay. Pneumatic, pneumatic drill. Jackhammer. Yeah, there's a jackhammer. Hollow neck. Skivvy. Yeah. We use. Poorly, sickly arm, well, yeah, we use poorly as well. Okay, press up, push up. Yeah, we just use push up for that. Push chair, stroller, pram. More likely, we're just going to use a pram. We just call them a pram. We don't really use the term stroller. That's more of an American term. Okay. Roger, rogering. A mild offensive term of sexual intercourse, similar to rooting. Yeah. So rooting is to have sex. Saloon. Ah, oh, that's why if you say rooting, I'm going to root for you and go, what, you're going to have sex with me? Oh, grouse. That's more of an American. Saloon. Uh, sedan. Yeah, sedan. Uh, scratching. S scratchings. Food. Crackling. Okay, pork fat crackling here. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we just use crackling for that. Pork crackle. Mm. Okay, Stella tape. Yeah, we just use sticky tape for any type of, um, you know, anything that you use to sticky tape stuff together. 
shan't, will not, shall not. We more likely say shall not. She, skeeve, skeeve. To play front, particularly educational. Oh, to wag. Uh -huh. Yeah, to wag school means to skip. Truancy. So, not turn up the school. We just call wagging school. I'm going to wag school today. A sleeping policeman, speed hump, or speed bump. You'd probably call it speed hump, really. More than speed bump. A snog, passionate kiss, uh, to pash. Mm, I'm going to pass now. Sod. Mildly offensive term for an unpleasant um, person. Mm, another mildly offensive term. So... For an unpleasant person, which is called a jerk. Spiny. A small area of trees and bush. Okay, just called bushland. Trimmer. Strain English whipper snipper or line trimmer. Okay, we don't usually use line trimmer, which is called a whipper snipper mostly. Where I am in Victoria. Oh, we're nearly finished. Okay, swan to move from one place to another ostentatiously. Yeah, I don't know. Don't have a version of that. Sweets. We lollies. Yeah, but we do use sweets. Um, lollies is more common. Candy. Yeah, we don't mean you call it candy. Tailback. A long queue. Or stationary. Slow moving traffic. Yeah, we just call it. Not a tailback. Call it a traffic jam. Probably. They also use it, traffic jam in the UK and the United States. Tangerine, Australian English, Mandarin. Okay, so in Australia, Mandarin, the fruit, not the language. We do use that, but we also have tangerines, which are more of a different type of fruit. So it might be just a marketing thing. Tip X. Okay, so white out. Or liquid paper. Nah, white out's American. So what we use is just, uh, says it here, liquid paper. So Australia, liquid paper. And uh, yeah, this one's all no good. Okay, trainers, yeah, we use runners mostly. Probably in some states they use sneakers. Turning, okay. Where one road branches from another. Australian English term. The intersection. Whatever. One road branches from another. Why intersection? I don't know what type of branching you're talking about. Okay, a room containing washing or other home appliances. Utility room. Oh yeah, we just use laundry. So that's the laundry. Here's the washing machine, sink. Tap. This looks like probably public utility because we usually don't have hand wash or stuff here. Okay. Um, okay, that. So we have GST, same thing pretty much. Uh, Wellington boots. Gum boots. Yeah, gum boots is more common. White spirit turpentine. Okay, yeah, we, call it, we just call it turps. So anyway. I hope that this helps you if you're Australian English. And yeah, I don't know what happened there. Okay, OPS doesn't want to. Yeah, there you go. So, o, not OPS, OBS. No, it's really, really funny. You touch it a little bit and it goes crazy, it goes batshit crazy. So I hope this helped you with your Australian English compared to the UK English. So just remember if you come from the UK and you're a POM, or even if you've immigrated to the UK, picked up this slang, come to Australia, you're going to have to learn it over again. And a lot of the just common terms that we use, like Lord laundry, you go, where's the utility room? People are going to go, utility room? What, you want to work in uh, the factory or something? So people probably won't understand what you're talking about, then you have to describe it. 
eventually you pick it up. Anyway, thank you very much. And oh, I hope this helped you.